Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another instant deck tech. Today we're heading to Modern to check out this ridiculous scapeshift aggro deck that recently took Clement Lesage to a top 64 finish at GP Lyle, so congrats to Clement on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break it all down, if you enjoy this deck and want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So, Scapeshift Aggro, I do not know what to make of this deck. It starts off looking like kind of a landfall zoo deck. You got Step Links and Plated Geopede. These creatures were super powerful in Standard, fairly powerful in Modern. Step Link sees a bit of play. Basically, they're very underpowered on their front half. Step Links, literally zero power. Plated Geopede, only one power, also first strike. But whenever a land enters the battlefield, they get plus two, plus two. So Step Links, if you make a land drop on turn two, which you should, it's going to be a two, three attacker. Plated Geopede on turn three is a three, three with first strike. It's even crazier if you have fetch lands. On turn one, you play a step links. Turn two, fetch land, crack a fetch land, get another land that's two landfall triggers. You're attacking for four on turn two with just a single step links. Play to geopede with a fetch land becomes a five five first strike. So you get in some early damage with your step links and play to geo feeds. And you even have additional ways to get extra lands. So Knight of the Reliquary. It gets very big for every land that's in your graveyard. Plus, you can sack a forester of planes to tutor a land from your library directly to the battlefield, which of course is another landfall trigger for your step links and plated geopede. So on turn maybe four, for example, you can fetch land, crack a fetch land, knight of the reliquary, sack a forest or a plains, get a fetch land, crack a fetch land. You're getting a grand total of four landfall triggers, making your step links an eight nine, your plated geopede a nine nine with first strike. Tons of damage potential there, plus you're growing your knight. Explore Really weird in an aggro deck, but <laughs> two mana, you get to play an extra land. It doesn't cost you a card because you get to draw an extra card. And then Mana Morphos, just a way to keep cycling through your deck, fix your mana a little bit. But then things really kind of get crazy. So this package isn't that weird for an aggro deck. There's been Boom Bust Zoo decks in the past. So Boom Bust, you can destroy a land you control and a land your opponent controls for just two mana. But there's a trick to it. You can turn it into a sinkhole if the land you target is a fetch land, or if you have a Knight of the Reliquary and can sack the land in response. Because you target your fetch land, target one of your opponent's lands, then with the boom on the stack, you crack your fetch land, you still get to destroy your opponent's land, you don't use one of your lands, so it just becomes a, a red sinkhole, essentially. But where the deck goes really crazy is then it kind of morphs into a scapeshift deck that doesn't have ramp. So you got Prismatic Omen, which makes all your lands into lands of any basic land type, but... Most importantly, it turns them into mountains. Then Scapeshift, you get to sack all your lands, get a bunch of lands, probably Valica, along with whatever lands if you have Prismatic Omen, or a bunch of mountains to deal a ton of damage to your opponent all in one shot. The weird part is, most of the time, Scapeshift decks are built around ramping. You're playing Sakura Tribe Elders and Primeval Titans and Farseeks and so forth to get a bunch of lands on the battlefield. You get up to seven lands, you sack them, you deal 18 damage with your Valakuts. Good game, that just finishes things off. This deck doesn't really have ramp. You get the Explorers, otherwise you're not really ramping with this deck, so you're kind of playing this fairly, and it's just such a weird combo with the aggro creatures. Although, as weird as it sounds... You could, theoretically, get some step links and play the geopedes on the battlefield, scape shift to get a ton of landfall triggers and win that way. Also, the lands go to your graveyard once you sack them, so it pumps up your Knight of the Reliquary. So there's some weird synergy there, but it's just a really odd package. As far as the rest of the mana base, you get a Sejiri Steep, which is to search out with your Knight of the Reliquary, give a creature protection, save it from a path to exile, a bunch of shock lands, and then a few basic lands. As far as the sideboard, some more tutor target lands. Bajukabog for Dredge, Soaring Sea Cliff, I guess you can tutor out with your knight to give a creature flying and block 
an opposing Delver or something? Stony Silence and Rest in Peace, just great sideboard cards. Stony Silence shuts down Affinity, Rest in Peace for Graveyard decks. And then some removal in Pyroclasm and Path to Exile. So that is Scapeshift Aggro for Modern. I really have no idea what to make of this deck. It feels like two very different decks smashed together. Normally in an aggro deck, you don't want 28 lands. Normally in a scapeshift deck, you want to have a lot of ramp. This deck has neither, but it's, somehow it must have worked because it won a lot of matches, enough to get in the top 64 at a big modern GP. So anyway, that's been our instant deck tech for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon.